Okay, um, so let's set up some hosting with hostgator.com. Um, I'm gonna take you through obviously setting up your hosting so that you can then create the website that you're gonna be creating probably with one of my other videos. Okay, so I'm gonna put a coupon code up on the screen now which will give you 25% off. Uh, be really grateful if you could uh, use that. Uh, just show a little bit of appreciation for uh, my videos. If you'd like what I'm doing, I do earn a very small commission uh, when you use that, so uh, that would be great. Thanks. If you don't want to, that's up to you. Okay, so let's go to web hosting. And you can see the free plans on this page. Um, if you're just starting out online, the Hatchling plan is probably going to be fine for you. Uh, you can use the one domain with that, a.com or whatever you've got. Um, if you don't have a domain right now, you can register that as well as we go through this process. So uh, don't worry, we can do that here too. So once you've decided which one you want, uh, maybe you think your business is gonna go crazy, then uh, go for the business plan. But if you're just starting out, say go for hatchling plan and click order now. Okay, so we're on the order form and the first box is where we can register our new domain name. So I'm assuming in this video that you don't already have a domain and we're gonna just start from scratch and get ourselves a .com or something. So I'm gonna go for WP Eagle um, demo because it's for my demo sites and that's available. So that's been added to the cart. If you scroll down, you can select obviously the variations uh, if you want them, the .net, .org, whatever's available. Leave the package as it was, you should probably select it on the first one. You know, I said hatchling's fine. Uh, you can select the billing cycle there. We're now gonna select our username. I'll go for WP Eagle, and then uh, we can enter our security pin. There we go. Now you can fill in all your billing information. So um, I'll just do that very quickly. I'll obviously uh, blank it out for security reasons. Okay, so once you've filled all that out, the next bit is to decide whether you're gonna pay with credit card or PayPal, I'll go with PayPal. Um, you can select if you're an individual or a business. I'll go with business and enter my business details. Okay, that's done. There's a few other options here. You can add domain privacy, which um, you know is useful if you wanna hide your identity. You can add a site lock, which um, basically is kind of like a, a virus protection against any security vulnerabilities. And there's site backup as well, which is obviously good to have if, you, uh, if you're if you gonna be building a site, because then if anything goes wrong, you can restore backup. So just select the options that you want. Now, uh, the coupon code, if you don't already have one, uh, said please use mine, it, it'll be put up on the screen now. Uh, but it's basically WP Eagle 25 off, and that'll give you a 25% off discount. And yep, that's all been applied. You need to scroll down and tick the um, terms and conditions, uh, and then click create account. And then it should just go away. Okay, so then you come to this page and then obviously you simply click um, pay now, and that then brings up your, uh, your PayPal account um, and you're ready to pay. So um, I'll, I'm gonna pay now and then I'll, I'll wipe this screen and come straight back and we'll start setting up WordPress. Okay, so I've just got my emails from HostGator, um, paid and everything, it all went through fine. Hopefully you're at the same point now. So what we're gonna do is log in now to our um, control area and we're gonna set up um, the WordPress website so that we can get started uh, building our websites. So I'm back on HostGator. If you look up here, there's a, a login tab. You need to enter your, um, your email address. And then you need to enter the password, which you'll have got via email. It can be confusing because you set a PIN number when you set up uh, your HostGator account, but actually they email your password. So if you go um, to, I've got my email here, I'll obviously blur out the details, but they send you actually two passwords. The first password is the one you want, which you'll find over this bit, uh, the first one you get. So I'm just gonna copy and paste that in. And there's another password in there which we're gonna need in a second. So um, when you log in, you get a, a screen that looks like this. Um, I can save my password. Um, and then what you wanna do is scroll down and uh, go to um, view hosting packages down here. And here's my wpeagledemo.com, it's all set up. And 
we're going to click on this link here which logs us into the cPanel which um, is slightly different. So this is the billing and support system and then the cPanel is where you're going to set up all your website stuff. So uh, let's click this link. The username is the same as you've just logged in with the other one and then they say you need to go back to that email you got from HostGator and the second uh, password they mention, just copy and paste that. And that should log in nicely. If you have any problems there is a reset um, password button there where you can reset it if, if for whatever reason it's not working. You can close all this stuff down. Um, we're not going to need that. Um, I'm going to save my password. And here is the HostGator control panel. So basically in here um, you can do everything to do with your website account. So that's set up email accounts, um, install WordPress which we're going to do in two seconds and a few other bits and bobs that you might find useful, you know, do some backups and a whole host of stuff. But we're not going to go for any of this right now. We're just going to set up our WordPress website. So at the top we've got this link here that says get started with WordPress. Give that a click. And it brings up this quick install screen. And it's brought up WordPress. WordPress is web software. You can use it. We know what it is. It's great. And let's click continue. Okay. Now it's going to ask where to install. Obviously, we're going to install our domain name that we just set up. Uh, you can enable auto upgrades, which is quite handy. Then just enter your um, email address. Give the blog a name. I'm going to call it the WP Eagle uh, demo site. Uh, put your admin username in, so this could be just admin, but for security reasons I suggest you use something else. Then I'm just going to put my name in. And then once you've done all that, uh, this, this box up here by the way, um, I'll just leave that blank, so that installs it just on the root. Um, but if for example, for whatever reason, you know you wanted your website to be slash WordPress or slash blog, um, you could type that in there. But unless you know what you're doing, I suggest you just leave that blank. So we've done all that, let's click install. Okay, this is just going to take a few seconds, so I'm going to uh, just do a little edit and I'll see you when it's done. Okay, it's all done. So it says my WordPress installation is ready. I can access it by going here. And there's my login name and it's generated me a password. So you need to copy and paste that password somewhere, keep it safe. Um, but what we'll do as soon as we log in, we will change it to something um, that's more memorable because it's just a load of old letters and numbers. So I'm going to click here. And because the domain name is brand new, um, the website's not come up yet because um, it takes a little while for the domain name to register. So if you're getting the same thing, you, then you may need to just wait a bit and um, and then it'll load. So luckily, I've got the uh, I've got a video here so I can edit it, and I'm just going to wait for it to appear, and then we'll come straight back. So hopefully, you won't have to wait too long for yours either. Um, but when it's ready, and when you go to your website, there's something appears, then you know you're ready to go, and um, we can carry on. The site appeared. It took a few hours, um, so be patient. If you, especially if you're registering a new domain name, it takes a little while for the domain to be registered and for all the DNS servers all around the world to update with the, the new details. So just be patient. Um, if it's been you know more than 12 hours or so and you haven't, um, your website hasn't appeared, then I would just get in touch with HostGator. If you log into your um, support area, there's a live chat and there's a ticket thing in there. They're always pretty quick and they'll get stuff sorted out. But generally it'll just go through without a hitch a few hours and boom, you've got a WordPress website up and running. And this is the foundation for um, you know anything really. We can use it to build lots of projects. Um, and obviously this video that you're watching, um, we're gonna build a, a website using WordPress. And um, this is kind of like just the basic install, ready to go. Um, and from here, you know, we can build some great things. So the first thing we're going to do is just change that password um, because the password that you get from HostGator isn't particularly easy to remember. So we're just going to log in and change that uh, and then we can get started building some great websites. So I'm just going to open another tab because I like to work this way. So I have the back of the website, you know, the admin area in one tab and then the front of the website um, in another tab. So I can just quickly switch between the two and uh, I just find it it's a quick way of working. But obviously you can just have it all in one tab if you want. See how you get on. So I'm just going to open the site in this one. So it's obviously WP Eagle um, test. Oh no, not test. Demo. Demo. Dot com. And then it's bringing it up because I, I went there a minute ago just to check it. Um, it's slash WP hyphen admin, and that brings up your login screen um, for your WordPress. So this is how we access the the admin area. So I'm going to type in the username. This is the username that you set up when you were 
doing the quick install on um, on HostGator, and then you need to copy and paste that password that was generated again by HostGator. Hopefully, you kept it in a safe place. Uh, so it's in my clipboard. And there we go. Obviously, if you have lost your password, there is a lost password link on that screen, and you can reset via email. So we're in. Now, to reset that password to something more um, easy to remember, if you go down the left-hand side, these are all the options, which obviously we're gonna go through as we build our website, and you'll learn about them. But to start, we'll go down into Users, and then All Users. And there's only me in there at the moment. And then we're gonna click Edit. And then we're gonna scroll down, and the box at the bottom is the password. And then you can just um, enter the new password that you want, something that you remember. And then that's done. So um, there we go, and we can now get started building our website.